All right, here's today's travel vlog for you. I'm not going to read all the notes that I put on the screen. Suffice it to say, this flight is scheduled to leave at 4.09 on a Monday afternoon. First of three flights today. Now, as a semi-professional travel agent, I know better than to book a flight leaving late in the day. You run the risk of delays screwing your entire trip, especially when you have this many flights. That's a little foreshadowing for you for my trip day, but more on that later. Let's take a look at Greensboro Spartanburg International Airport. I don't know what's international about it, but that's a different story. Let's take a look. So I keep seeing this, I don't... Hmm. Where'd, we, where'd you see it the other time? Oh, we saw it somewhere else in Greensboro. I don't know what that's for. Apparently I should have trademarked that. Hmm. Headed home today from the Cosmic Summit. We and our flight connects to Charlotte, then to Phoenix, and then home. Three legs late in the day, and new booking it was probably not the best idea. And it turns out our first flight is now delayed about 45 minutes. Uh, my connection in Charlotte is down to 35 minutes. There's a chance the flight to Charlotte will be delayed if that's the case. Um, we might get to Phoenix. We'll see. Maybe we'll get to Charlotte. Spend the night in Charlotte. I don't know. Maybe we'll get to Phoenix. Spend the night in Phoenix. Maybe we'll get all the way home and I get to my own bed. So stay tuned and find out later. Well, there's a high probability we're staying in Charlotte or Phoenix this evening. We're an hour and I'm supposed to arrive 15 minutes before my next flight's supposed to depart. So odds are Charlotte right now.
local time is 548. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign has been turned off and keep the aisle clear of all carry-on items. Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items like tablets and cell phones. When you open the overhead compartment, be careful as items may have shifted in flight. You may now use your cell phones. American and our one world partners, thank you for flying with us today. We hope to see you again soon. We do have some passengers with some very tight connections. So if Charlotte is your final destination or you have a bit of a longer layover, if you would just allow those passengers to make their way towards the front, we want to try and get everyone where they need to go today. Thank you so much and welcome to Charlotte. Thanks for coming along with today's travel vlog. We end up getting to the gate at 5.55. Of course, then there's a few minutes to get off. Before I discuss the next flight or anything related to it, members are awesome. If you would like to become a member of the channel, there is a join button on a desktop session of YouTube. You can do that. Some perks come with that. If you become a member, please send me an email at trizity at gmail.com so I can get you your gifts. As it relates to our next flight, Flight Radar says we arrived at 5.55. Next flight is scheduled for 6.15. Gates typically are closed at 10 minutes prior to departure time. That means we've got 10 minutes to get from E Concourse in Charlotte to D Concourse in Charlotte. Uh, that's very unlikely. So I need hopes and prayers really to make my next flight. Hopes and prayers at this point mean another flight delay. Chances of another flight delay? I don't know. Regardless of all that, I really don't want to stay in Charlotte tonight, but that may be my fate. If you want to find out what happens next, the best way is to subscribe and hit the reminder bell. That way, when I drop the episode, you'll be notified and you can see what happens next. All right, friends, that's all I got for you today. Happy travels, everyone.